Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today what we will be discussing would be all about um, algebraic equations. Okay, so algebraic equations are by definition are just simply um, express, uh, equations containing variables. Wait, let me just write that down properly. Variables numbers operations and what we have of course the equal or the inequalities okay the equality or inequality symbol being equal or the yan, yung mga symbols greater than less than and etc okay so those are algebraic equations and um what we will be dealing mostly in our topic would be um the thing that we call the um, linear equations. Okay, so let me write that down. Linear equations. Okay. Since we have this uh, concept of um, equal equality or equations, we must also be able to identify the thing that we call the, where I write it in yellow, the solutions. Solutions. Okay, so we have equations, solutions. Yeah. We have equations and we have um, solutions. So what is the difference between them? It's just like this. Solutions are the answer to the equations. I meaning this is the question and this is the answer. Okay, this is the answer. The answer to the to the question that will satisfy the condition. And the condition is of course this is the conditions. Okay? Whether they are equal or not or greater than less than and etc. Okay, that would be um, what we would be discussing for today. Linear equations and their solutions. Okay? So, first, uh, let's have an example of a linear equation. By definition, our linear equation would be in the form of ax plus b is equal to c. Wherein our a, b, and c are elements of real numbers. Meaning, there are numbers like 1, 1 half, um, 0 0.25, and etc. Okay? So, those would be our real numbers. And, of course, um, our x is just simply your variable, the variable. Meaning, it will not change value. Okay? So, yun lang. So, this would be the form of our given. So, meaning, in any given um, linear, equali linear equality that you will be um, having, it can always be expressed in this form, ax plus b plus c. For example, we have number 1, um, x plus 5 equals to 9. This one is already in the form of this um, ax plus b is equal to c. Our a is equal to 1 which is always the number beside x. Remember, if there is no va number, it's automatically 1. Our b is of course 5 and our c is equal to 9. Good? Yes. And then we have say this given um, 2y minus 5 is equals to zero. Our a is equal to two, our b is equal to negative five b, okay, and our c is of course zero. Because c is nothing here. Okay? So that would be it. And let's have another example. Wait and uh, let's just move our um screen above a little bit. Let me just move it above. Okay. So yeah. Another example would be Say we have um, z plus 1 over 2 is equal to 5. So in this case, you cannot clearly see what is your a, what is your b, and what is your c. What you just simply need to do is eliminate the multiplic um, the division. Again, to get ax plus b is equal to c, always remove, there's a note, always remove the fraction. And how do we remove the fraction? The concept of transposition. I will transfer this to the other side. Kasi, this is, um, this is, this is what we call, wait lang, let me make this look better. This is what we call, ano eh, um, wait lang ha, this is, let me write down, j plus 1 over 2 is equals to 5, yan. This is what we call yung, um, division, eh, when it comes to variables, okay? And we can also, cross-multiply, and there are other, a lot of concepts on this one. 
how we will uh, do this but of course um, the easiest way of that is um, by simply transferring or using the concept of transposition so we will transfer these two here on the other side okay and when it comes to transposition we all know that one half is equals to one divided by two right so meaning it's division always and in con in the concept of transposition whatever um, operation you will have you will get the reverse of that and the reverse of multiplication is division and the reverse of division is multiplication so if i will transfer this divided by 2 to the other side it would become multiplication so this is j plus 1 is equals to what is 2 times 5 the answer is 10 and your a is equals to 1 b is equals to 1 c is equals to 10 okay so again um, any given va any given linear um, equations can be transformed in this form. The ax plus b is equal to c. But we will not deal mainly with that. We will deal with the solutions. Okay, so for example, number 1. We have x plus 5 is equal to 9. And of course, you are given x is equal to 3. So you are being asked, do you think this x is equal to 3 is your solution? So again, this is your equation and this is your solution. Okay? Your equation and your solution. And you're being asked, do you think this is the answer to our equation? So what do you need to do to check whether you're given is a solution? Ito, whether this is a solution or not. So what you need to do is to apply the concept of substitution. And I will um, stress on this one. Because when we, when we talk about substitution, every value of that will be substituted with this 3. All the x's here will be changed as 3 because that is substitution. Just like in a, in a game of basketball, just like in a game of basketball, if we have 5 players, let's say we have Mark, um, uh, Eugene, we have Bert, we have um, Clark, and then we have um, Eman. Okay, we have this five person. And then of course we, um, Eman is tired. Eman is really tired, and Clark is very tired as well. Okay. And what we will do would be Clark. We will replace it him with um, say um, Brent. And Eman we will replace him with um, say John. So meaning Brent will replace Clark, and Brent will not replace Eman. John will replace Eman and not Clark. Okay? So, meaning, whatever is, um, whatever should be replaced should be replaced only. And this is John with Eman and Brent with Clark. The same goes with this one. In this x plus 5 is equals to 9, okay? And you know that x is equals to 3. All x's will be replaced with 3. So, in this case, this x will be 3 plus 5 is equals to 9. And this 3 plus 5, of course, we, we can evaluate that one. It will give us with 8 is equals to 9. Now you ask yourself, is this true or not? Is 8 equals to 9? Of course, it is not. It's, it is false, right? It's false. Therefore, this is not a solution. Again, what, what we are doing here is we are identifying whether the given is, a, whether the solution is correct or not. Okay? whether the solution is correct or not on our given equation okay so what what do you think is the value of x so that we can have x plus 5 is equals to 9 what do you think should be the value of x obviously it should be simply 4 so if we replace all the x's here with 4 what would happen would be 4 plus 5 is equals to 9 9 is equals to 9 now of course this is true right because 9 is definitely equal to 9. Therefore, this given solution is correct. This is correct. This is the only solution. Because if we would have any number other than 4, we will definitely not get 9. We will definitely not get 9. So in this case, there's only one solution for our um, linear equation in one variable. Okay, so this is your linear equation in one variable, Lekov. Okay, and this is of course your solution. Okay, so let's have another example. Say we have um, 
to y minus 5 is equals to 1 and y is equals to 3. Again, what do we need to do? All the values of y in our given equation, this is the equation, this is the solution. All the values of y in our given equation will be replaced by 3. And this is again substitution. When you are playing again in basketball, okay, for example, ito, ayan, we have this one again. Brent will not replace Bert, Bert will not replace Eugene, and Bert will not replace Mark. Meaning, the substitution only works for the y and not for the 2, not for the negative 5, not for the equals, not for 1. Only for y. So, by replacement or substitution, we will have this one. So, 2 times 3. Remember, 2y, I did discuss to you this before. 2y is equals to 2 times y. 2 times y. And 2 times y. You are multiplying them. I did tell you also, if you will see no visible operation, most likely it is multiplication. So, we have multiplication. In substitution, just to be uh, clear to you guys, when you are substituting, always put a parenthesis. We will not change negative 5, right? We will not remove 2, so that's why 2 is still here. So, we will have minus 5. We will not remove 1. We will not remove equals. Nothing else except for y. And please... Um, no, please, please always uh, remember that. Okay, Substitution will not mean you will remove anything else except for that variable. 2 times 3 is of course 6 minus 5 and 6 minus 5 is equals to 1. You ask yourself, is this true or not? This is true. If this is true, then this is correct. Okay? If that is true, then this is correct. So, you might wonder, what happened sir, on this part? What happened here? So, what happened here is we evaluated. Now, this would, um, co your uh, order of operation would come in handy on this one. This is 2 times 3 minus 5. 2 times 3 minus 5. Remember the order of operation. Multiply first before you subtract. So, we have 1. And lastly, we have... Lastly, we have our um, z plus 1 over 2 is equals to 5. And our z is equals to negative 9. So, let's start check. Is this correct or not? Is this correct or not? So, we will have negative 9 plus 1 over 2 is equals to 5. Again, nothing else will change except for the z and always put a parenthesis on it. Okay? Negative 9 plus 1, the answer is negative 8 over 2 is equals to 5. That's correct. Okay, remember your integers. Negative 8 divided by 2, the answer is negative 4. And negative 4 is definitely not equals. So, this is false. Okay, it's not equals to 5. Therefore, this one is not a solution to our given. Okay? So, that would be it. And what do we do now? We, we try to guess. Ano yung value? What's the value of ano? What's the value of um, neg um, of z so that we can satisfy the equation of z plus 1 over 2 is equal to 5? Say we have z as positive 9. So we will have 9 plus 1 over 2 is equal to 5. And 9 plus 1 is 10 over 2 is equal to 5. And lastly, it will give us 5 is equal to 5. This is true. Therefore, this is correct. Okay, z, our solution is equals to 9. And nothing else. No more other solution for this given. Could simply be 9. And of course, our aim for this one would be, we need to find the solution. And the solution is not by guessing. Take note, everyone. Solution is not by guessing. We guessed this one, that z is equals to 9, and I guessed that one. But what about if your given would be like this um say we have we do, you don't know the value so you will try to be you will try to guess okay what if our given is 2r over 5 is equals to 3 what should be the value of r and you are not allowed to guess you must get it correctly for the first time and that is what we will be learning on our next topic how to solve for the solution
how to solve for the solution. Okay? Solution. This is our shortcut for solution. Solution. I write it down as sol n. Solution. Okay? So that would be all everyone. If you would have any other questions on our um, topic for today, you can just go over the video or um, you can um, chat me on our group. Thank you everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.